If you use the YouTube Studio app, you may have noticed this update. This button over here will help you upload videos straight from the YouTube Studio app. If you don't have it, I'll suggest you go and update your app from the Play Store or the App Store. I use an Android phone, so I'm not sure if this is on Apple devices yet. But anyways, I have tested it and I want to share my thoughts on why or if you should stick to this one or use the method that I normally use. As someone that runs three channels right now, I look for the fastest ways to always make my work easier. Maybe I'm just lazy, that's why I try to find the fastest ways to do things and from my experience so far, I don't think this is a good way to upload videos to YouTube and I'm going to explain why. Now this is one of my channels and um, I'm sure a lot of you know about it. So the way I normally upload videos is through YouTube Studio but using the website. I also do it on my phone. So if you wish to access this website on your phone, you just need to open your browser, maybe Chrome. I normally use Brave Browser but any browser you like and then you go to studio.youtube.com and then you enter your details, you log in and you see your, your channel there. So I'm going to keep my phone for now. Alright, so this is my experience when I use the websites to upload videos to the platform. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to go through is my default settings. So if you go to the YouTube Studio and you click settings, you'll see this option called upload default. So I'm going to click it. And you see over here that I have some things that I've written down so that um, whenever I upload a new video, I don't have to write all these things again. Like this is a link. I'm supposed to change this soon because this website has they are shutting down very soon. I think by the end of January, they will be shut down completely. So I have to remove this. But anyways, you can see over here, I put this or this. So this is a short form to see description. So this is where I'm going to explain what the video is about. And um, I have two texts that say link. So this is where I'm going to input any important links. If I don't have up to two, I can just delete one and leave one. If I don't have any, I just delete everything. And if I have more than two links, then I just copy this paste it again and then paste the link and finally I have some links to products that I use and then I have my disclaimer to show that I, I, I link some affiliate products as well so whenever I upload videos this will be there for me I don't have to type this from the beginning and you can see over here there's a title so whenever I upload videos using the YouTube studio page the title of the video shows I'm going to explain what I mean so I'm just going to close this so I'm just going to click here to upload a video. Click select files. So as you can see over here, I have a video titled how to check charging wattage of your phone. This is how I named the file. That is the video file that I want to upload. I haven't uploaded it yet. So if I click on it and I click open, you see that the title of the video is here, like the title of the file. So the way I named the, the file that I'm uploading is going to display here. So if I want, I can add more info here or not. But, you know, it's a very fast way to create your videos. You don't have to upload the video and start naming it again or creating another name. If you want, you can just export your video, export it in the name you want. And when you upload it here, the name is going to display here. So you can add more things if you want, or you can delete things if you want, or you can change the name entirely. All right, so now I have the description. So here I can just say this video is about how to check your watching not watching. This video is about how to check your charging wattage of your phone. So I can type that in there. I'm not going to do that because I've already uploaded this video. I'm just giving you an example. So here I can put the link of the app that I am using to check the charging wattage and everything else is here. So I can upload the thumbnail, select the playlist and um, next I can go to monetization and if I want monetization enabled, I click on if you if you are not monetized you will not have this option next i can add video elements so if i want i can add end screens which is what i normally add so i just click import from video so that i can get to the end screen from other videos that i've made in case you don't know what an end screen is it's just the video that displays when you reach towards the end of the current video you are watching and finally i can just click checks for to check everything and visibility so after the video is done uploading, then that's all I can just publish the video. So this is what it normally looks like when I use the website to upload videos. That is the studio website. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like using the app. All right, so I am now on my phone and this is the same YouTube channel that I want to upload the video to. So if I click here, 
I just need to look for the video that I'm trying to upload and um, this is the video right here. So if I click on it, you can see now that um, it has selected the video for sure. So I can click here to select the thumbnail. Let me just do that. So I've selected the thumbnail, tab done. And now this is just the channel that I'm uploading to it. It's showing me the channel. But you can see here that I have to create the title of the video again, even though the file, the video file already has a name. So this is to me more time wasted. So now I have to put in the title of the video. After that, if I go to add description, you can see that the description section is empty. You know, when I uploaded it from the studio website, I had all the description, all my links, all those things ready for me. I just had to include what the video was going to be about. I'll just delete that part that says this. So this is also going to waste my time. So I have to go somewhere or I have to go to the website, the studio website, copy all that stuff and then come paste it here. So this is also going to waste my time. Next, I can decide if I want the video to be private or public. This one is a normal stuff. Then the next, I can enable or disable monetization. I can decide if the video is meant for kids or not. I can add it to a playlist. And finally, I can add products. I haven't added products before, so I don't know much about this. I haven't used this option before, but I know how it works. Maybe I'll talk about it in another video. If you guys want that, let me know in the comments. And finally, there's an option here to disable comments. And by default, it is turned off. I don't know why. This is another waste of time. You have to come here turn on comments and I normally set it to strict because some people leave links and potentially malicious stuff so I have to make sure I turn everything off. So this extra step to me is a waste of time and if you notice there's no way to add an end screen like you can do on the YouTube studio page like the website itself so you have to still go back to the website to impute an end screen unless you don't use the end screens but me i normally like adding end screens so after that yeah, you click upload and i've done this before the upload process is the same as uploading from the youtube app itself not the studio app so for now i don't think this is a good way to upload videos unless you don't need all that technical stuff you don't have like default descriptions that you use in all your videos then this can work for you. But for me personally, I don't think this is a good way to upload videos yet. I'm sure this is just the beginning. So YouTube will definitely add more features to the studio app. And one thing that I really hope they'll add is the ability to add comments immediately you upload your video, like the ability to be the first comment of your video. Because whenever you upload a video and you want to add a comment, you have to like watch the video. Power went out, so I have to continue the video faceless. Anyways, whenever you want to add a comment, you have to open the video and it's like you have to watch the video before you can add a comment. So if they can just give an option to add the first comment so you can add it and pin it, then that will be great. But well, for now, we can only wish that YouTube brings up all those features. Maybe in the future they will. Okay, so I guess that's all for this video. I think it's time for me to stop. I hope you guys found the video helpful. If you did, let me know in the comments and yeah. Ask me any questions you may have. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.